Today is the Battle of the Beauty Sponges. As you can see, I have quite a few here, <laughs> and I've tried out quite a few. Let's go ahead and get started with the original. Um, none of these are wet at the moment, so I didn't want to just go and wet all of them for no reason. But yeah, the original, this one is like basically in my empties because it's pretty much done. Let me preface this entire video by saying, in my opinion, for me, using beauty sponges, there are two main factors. There is the softness or squishiness and also the texture on the outside because there are some sponges that are super, super soft out there but have such a smooth, um, it's such a smooth texture that it's basically just like using a silly sponge and just kind of like moves the product around without blending it, you know? I think that porous texture is what helps blend it and give that really skin-like texture. Yes, the original Beauty Blender is the perfect balance between the squishy factor and that nice porous texture. Um, without, you know, once you wet it, it does, really doesn't absorb that much product. The problem with the Beauty Blender is, is it's expensive. <laughs> I can't say that I will never buy it again, but it'll probably be a while before I buy it again because I have found some other sponges that I do like a lot. However, some of those I purchased before I went cruelty free and I won't be able to purchase those anymore. So once I use those and they're done, they're done. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so I probably will repurchase a beauty blender again at some point. Um, it almost doubles in size when you wet it. It doesn't feel like you're punching yourself in the face. I think for a while there a lot of the Beauty Blender knockoffs were very hard and it felt like punching yourself in the face with them. I bought a set off of Amazon. I don't even remember what they were called. It was some generic brand. I only have the little tiny one left. It does grow in size and get slightly softer but it's like very hard and it's like, can you hear that? It's like it's punching. It feels like you're punching yourself in the face. I only kept the little one because I don't have to press as hard and um, it's just great for the under eye area and it's firm enough to where you don't have to like put your finger there to get in so it's like nice and easy just to. So I did keep the little one just for that reason. I have no idea if these are cruelty free. I won't be repurchasing these specific ones um, after this is dead, but. Okay, on to a couple of sponges that, that I actually enjoy quite a bit, but I won't be repurchasing because they are not cruelty free. Um, this is one of the L'Oreal ones, almost as soft as the Beauty Blender, and it has a very similar texture on the outside. It does feel a little bit different. It almost feels a little bit more flocked, but it still works really, really nicely. Um, so if you're not cruelty free, um, I still, I still encourage using other brands that are. Um, but this one is a very good. See, there's a lot of squish to it, and it's got a really, really nice texture. Um, so once this one's dead, I won't be repurchasing it, which is really sad because it's really, it's really good quality. Okay, next I have one of the Revlon Beauty sponges. This one has a very unique shape, which I actually like. Um, it is very hard. Um, however, it does soften uh, once you, it doesn't feel like it would absorb any water when you're holding it because of how firm it is, but it does absorb water and it does grow. See, there's almost like a ridge here, which is really great for getting under the eye in any small places, which is the main reason why I like it. It also has a really, really great texture on the outside, which helps to blend very well. And this large flat surface is easy to pat, which is nice because you don't feel like you have to bounce it so it doesn't have that punching yourself in the face feeling where if you would use this end it's like that would be very uncomfortable but since there's such a large flat area it's easy to gently pat with so i do like this one as well this one surprised me i did not think i was gonna like this at all but i do actually quite like it a lot but again, it's not cruelty free, won't be repurchasing. Okay, now the closest thing that I have ever found to the Beauty Blender is the Flower Beauty Sponge. Um, this is 
has got a great amount of squish, <laughs> a great amount of pliability and softness, and it has also a really, really great porous texture on the outside. It's very, very soft, very easy to bounce on the skin. It has a little flat end here that makes it easy to get into smaller areas. I highly recommend this one. It's like $8 maybe. Um, I don't remember exactly, but um, I highly, highly recommend this one. It's a little bit more like jelly textured than the Beauty Blender, but it's still almost as soft and has a very similar texture on the outside. So this would be my top recommendation for a Beauty Blender dupe. But um, yes, Flower Beauty. The only thing I don't like about this is that it's a Walmart exclusive and I hate Walmart. I don't like shopping there, so I just order it online when I have to, but hey, Walmart. Moving right along, um, I've got the Ulta Beauty sponge here and I just received these two minis also as um, that I haven't tried yet, but I feel like this will be kind of a similar situation to that, to this guy, where I probably won't, I probably will only use it for under here because this is very, very firm there's not a lot of give to it and the surface is also very smooth so it al almost like doesn't really blend anything out so that really sucks and it's like punching yourself in the face when you try to use it um, and I'm not even like doing it very hard um, so the since the surface is like so soft and smooth it doesn't like it kind of does like what a silly sponge does. It just kind of moves the product around and it doesn't really blend it in very well. So I actually, I don't, unfortunately, I don't recommend the Ulta sponges. Hey, I have the Eco Tools sponges here. These I'm kind of on the fence about. I like them and I don't like them. They are much harder. They've got a similar firmness to, actually, they're sort of an in-between firmness of these two guys. Um, but the texture on it is really nice. So using this large one is good because it's got that big flat surface and you don't have that punching sensation. Um, but using this smaller one is kind of a little bit uncomfortable sometimes, but it does have a really great texture on the outside. So it is really nice. Um, if you, if you don't, if you go gentle on your skin, um, it's really great for powder and for baking because of that big flat edge. So this has its merits. I am on the fence about it. It's not my favorite, um, but it's definitely not my least favorite. And finally, I have the Real Techniques sponge here. This one has a similar texture to the Flower Beauty, um, a similar feel, squishiness. It's slightly more firm and it's a little bit more on the jelly side <laughs> um, when you wet it and it grows. I, I love the flat surface. It makes blending really easy. It is nice and soft. Texture on the outside isn't the best. I wish it was a little bit more porous, but since it's not super firm, it still does blend out product very well but it's I wish it was not quite as smooth this one's okay for me it's definitely more comfortable to use than the eco tools but it takes a little bit more effort to blend so my top beauty blender dupe recommendation is of course the flower beauty sponge and then the real techniques sponge is a second and a very close third would be eco tools um, but you do have to bear in mind whether or not the firmness will bother you. If the firmness will bother you, then just don't even bother. <laughs> um, same thing with this. If the less porous surface um, will bother you and the, a little bit more effort for the blending will bother you, then don't bother with this. Um, but yes, uh, the Flower Beauty sponge, I highly, highly recommend. And that's um, all of the sponges that I have tried so far that is all I've got for you today so thank you so much for watching if you are new to my channel please subscribe it really means a lot to me it's super helpful all of my social media links are listed down below as well and thank you so much for watching until next time